Hello? Oh, ha! Got your attention now, didn't I? Ice cream is the most universally loved treats to ever exist. Hey, uh, can we turn this music down? Can we turn this music down, please? Hey! Oh my gosh. All right, let's talk about ice cream. In this cold, dark, and post Ice Age 5 world, there are very few things that give me any sort of joy anymore. The very few things that come to mind are Oni Plays, Mario, my beautiful 143 subscribers, and ice cream. Oh, sweet ice cream. Look, okay, I'm a simple guy, all right? I tolerate my lactose. And much like other simple guys like me, you know, simple, I went to school. It sucked, by the way. I would not recommend going there. Despite the hell I had to endure every day learning about literally anything but taxes, there was a short half-hour time span when everything was okay. Lunchtime. Okay. And all of that is because of one little thing. Yeah. I'm not joking. Do I look like I'm joking? This ain't no monkey business. <laughs> okay, that's enough donkey Kong. Oh. You just had to be there, dude. We got the ice cream sandwich. Classic. We got the fudge bars. Classic. Wait, why is he looking at me like that? Wow, you little babies. Get those small little cups with little woody spoons like little dummy dums. Us kings are out here getting these bad boys. This alone it's probably making your brain waves explode with nostalgia getting an ice cream was an amazing reminder that you know what everything's gonna be okay your dumbass failed a math exam it's okay have a creamsicle but there's also a dark side a dark chocolate if you will underneath the fudge bar that is the cafeteria ice cream. That's right, we're talking about the classist undertones. Yeah, you didn't think ice cream had politics, didn't you? Getting an ice cream, at least at my school, was a silent display of your superiority. It was the equivalent to having a Lunchables or one of those super cool Scooby-Doo lunchboxes that my friend Jake had and I was super jealous of him and I wanted but I couldn't get it because I hate you, Jake, you stupid cool lunchbox. I, as a smart kid, understood this classist system. I did not want to be at the bottom with my stupid little blue lunchbox. I asked my parents every day. I asked, hey, mom, can I get a fudgy bar? She said, nah. I asked, hey, dad, can I get some Dippin' Dots? He said, nah. It's too expensive. Communist snobs. For a few weeks, okay, I was hanging in there, all right? I was at the edge of my seat. I was really wanting ice cream, but it's okay. I controlled myself until one day. The cafeteria decided to sell Choco Tacos. A moment of silence for the Choco Taco. In the arms of the angel. Be drunk with power. <coughs> okay, you're gonna be okay. Being drunk with power, I sneakily snagged one out of the container and snuck it in my pocket. That's right. Still in front of the big corporations, and I was kind of a rebel back then. But after putting that Choco Taco in my pocket, I had what could only be considered a post Nutty Buddy clarity. Guilt overwhelmed me. I went home that day a broken man, filled to the brim with guilt over what I'd just done. That guilt bothered me all night. I thought maybe someone saw me and they were gonna tattle on me, and I'd be thrown in jail forever. The next day came. Then the next day, I still haven't eaten the Choco Taco. I was too guilty to eat it, so it just melted in my pocket. If anyone from my school is watching this, this is not a confession of guilt. I'm just worried that someone out there will find me and finally provide justice. You know, it all just comes to show what one can really do for a Klondike bar. Uh, anyway, where was I? Oh yeah, ice cream. Yeah, we were talking about ice cream. <laughs> yeah. Did your cafeteria ice cream ever have freezer burns before? Oh, I hated when that happened. I remember one day I wanted a fudgy bar. I was so excited to have this fudgy bar, dude. And then I took a bite out of it. Boom. It's crunchy ice. Just the whole thing. I was like one of those Chick-fil-A girls, you know? It sucked because like that happened almost every other day. There'd be freezer burns. It sucked. I mean, that didn't really matter because the itty bits never got freezer burned. That's right, round of applause for itty bits, ladies and gentlemen. Dippin' Dots doesn't stand a chance. You know, as I look back on life, my past successes, mistakes, the friends I've lost, 
It helps me realize that the only buddy I really needed in life was a nutty buddy. Ooh, nutty buddy. A round plus to nutty buddy. Oh, yeah, yeah. These bad boys, I'm not kidding. They were better than sex. And I should know. Because I've had plenty of, um, oh, what do you call it? Sex. Anyway, here's a tier list of all the ice cream I remember my cafeteria selling. Feel free to comment down below if you think any of these are an L, but remember, if you think any of these takes are an L, you are an L stupido. Now, if you excuse me, I'm gonna go find Jake and demand he gives me his cool Scooby-Doo lunch block. <laughs>